Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the benefits of putting emojis on your website and a few things that you need to understand before doing so. Now, I personally use emojis on all of my about pages, including Tony Teaches Tech, Serial Guru, and my personal website. And I do this for a number of reasons. For example, I feel that emojis grab your website visitor's attention. Take these two pages as an example. Which one do you think stands out more? Another reason is I believe emojis can get you a better click-through rate. And if you're not familiar with that terminology, click-through rate just simply means uh, more clicks on your links. Again, which link seems more compelling for you to click on? Okay, assuming you're on board with adding emojis to your website, there are a few things that you need to understand with how they actually work, especially when they are part of a URL. Here is the URL for one of my pages on my website at tonyteaches.tech. You'll notice that the part of the URL after the domain name is the thinking emoji. I did this as an experiment at the end of 2020 to see if Google would index this page. And it turns out that Google is capable of indexing web pages with emojis in the URL, as well as web pages with emojis in the title and description. Now, the one thing that I want you to understand here is that although Google and most people who come to your website will see the emoji, the actual URL in this particular case looks something like this. <laughs> You see, every emoji actually corresponds to a Unicode string, and web browsers interpret this as hexadecimal. So you can actually go to either tonyteaches.tech slash thinking face emoji or tonyteaches.tech slash percent F0, percent 9F, percent, you get the idea. And we can actually prove this is the case by looking at the sitemap. You'll see all the way down here in the sitemap that this URL that ends in those hexadecimal characters actually corresponds to tonyteaches.tech slash thinking face emoji. Now there's one more consideration that you need to understand when using emojis on your website. Depending on what device you're using or even what web browser you use, your emojis might look slightly different. You can go to a website like emojipedia.org and see what the same emoji looks like on different platforms. If you wanna learn more about emojis on your website, I have a blog post in the description below, so check that out. Please subscribe for more like this from me in the future, and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.